hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add a compute field in odoo 16 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo 16 community edition and where we are continuing our odoo 16 development tutorials so here we can see we already have added a database table called hospital.patient so if i open the patient's form view here we have the fields like name is child age and gender so in order to illustrate the working of a compute field i'll be adding a new field called capitalized name so the functionality will be as follows suppose if i enter a patient name over this field we have to get the fully capitalized name in a separate field like and it will be done using the compute function so let's see how we can achieve that so i'll go to the pycharm and here we have the custom folder and here we have the om hospital module so in order to illustrate the working of a compute field i'll be adding a new field to this model so i'll copy the name field and i'll create a new field and i'll name it as capitalized name I'll give the name as capitalized name. I'll change the string also, capitalized name, and I'll remove these attributes. We don't need the required and tracking attribute for this field. And I'll copy the technical name of the field and I will add it to the corresponding form view. So here we have the patient's form view. So after the gender field, I will add the newly added field. So let's restart which will upgrade the module you can see the module has been upgraded and if i come to the ui and if i refresh you can see the newly added field has been added here so what we have to get is suppose if i enter odoo meets here we are expecting automatically the field value has to come like this odoo meets in capital letter over here so let's see how do we can make that so in order to make a field as a computed field what you have to do is that along with the field definition in python you have to add compute equal to put a comma compute equal to and specify the function from which the value has to be compute so once you add compute equal to and inside this you have to specify a function name so normally a compute function is defined in the following syntax underscore compute then we will specify the field name so as we are computing value to this field i'll give the name as follows underscore compute field name which is capitalized name now i'll copy this function and i'll define a I'll copy this name and I'll define a function with that name. So from here, what I have to do, I have to set value to this field. So self dot this field and I'll pass the value as test for now. So I'll pass a static value as test now. So let me restart and see what happens. So here you can see before adding compute, which it was an editable field so once the compute is added let me refresh the field will become read only so once you make a field as compute field the field itself become a read only field so if you need to make it as editable along with the field definition in python you have to set read only equal to false in python level or you can set read only equal to zero in xml level in order to make it editable if you need so for now we need it as read only field so we have successfully made it as a compute field you can see it's read only and the value is computing as test so we have done that now what we have to do what we don't need a static text we have to get the capital letter of what user enters here so i'll do little more coding so i'll make it as if self dot name if self dot name here i'll put self dot name dot upper this is a python function the like a string function if we call string dot upper it will return as the capitalized letter so let's see what we are getting now and we have to write else condition also so if you didn't specify else condition you will be getting an error message that is whenever you define a compute field 
in all the cases the value for the compute field has to be returned so whenever there is field that is value in name field we will make it as capital l self dot capitalized name equal to empty i'll put an empty string so we have defined this function so i'll restart the function again service again and if i go here you can see orumates is coming in capital letter and here we have orange so if i change it to yellow and if i click on save you can see capital yellow orange and i'll put test and if i click on save you can see whatever we have typed over here is coming as capital here which is done from our compute function so if you need to understand what is happening over here i'll stop this service and i'll enable the debugger here and what i'll do is that i'll put a breakpoint over here inside this function so and i'll come here i'll try to create a new record and i'll give the name as odoo and once i click on save you can see the code execution reaches over here and you can see it has been stopped on the breakpoint now if you check the value inside self dot name if i evaluate this expression you can see self dot name is odoo self dot age what is in age age is zero self dot gender what is self dot gender we have gender is false because we didn't set gender and age so in self dot name what we have self dot name is currently odoo and if i call dot upper dot upper if i call dot upper it will return odoo similarly we have the function call lower also which will return small letter so the code execution reaches here and it will check if self dot name if you evaluate this expression if self dot name it will return true self dot name yeah we have value so i'll put a breakpoint here and if i run the program let's see what it returns it will return odoo and this will be assigned to this field so i'll remove this breakpoint and i'll complete the resume the program so the capital letter will be capitalized word will be stored to this field so let me stop the debugger and i'll run in the normal mode itself so this is how the compute function is working so right now you can see this compute function is working once we click on save button and we can do one thing so by default a compute field is not stored in the database so if you log into the postgres database and if you search this hospital dot patient name you will not find this field inside the postgres database so in order to make a compute field stored you have to set store equal to true attribute that is if you need to make compute field stored in the database at the postgres level if you need a database column for this field you have to set store equal to true along with that field definition then only a postgres field will be created then for the proper recomputing of this function i have to set at api that is this decorator has to be set at api depends name that is this function has to be recalculated whenever the name field value is changing for that you can use at api depends name and store equal to true is given and if you refresh you can see the module has been upgraded and if you search there will be no difference so we have just make it as a stored field and at api depends is added now if i test here red you can see even before saving the value is getting computed blue if i change here you can see the value is com computing initially on saving only it was getting computed so once we add at api depends whenever the value is getting changed instantly the field value is also getting computed so this is how we can define a compute field so right now we don't have any error but do one thing if you add this field to the tree view that is if you add this field to the tree view here we have the tree view of patients 
so i'm going to add the field over this list view or tree view and if i restart we will be getting an error so we will see that the module has been upgraded and if i refresh the screen and let me try to add we have to get an error i'll put erp currently i didn't get an error but whenever you define a compute field you have to iterate the self that is the variable self has to be iterated over a for loop for rec in self that is i'm using a for loop that is self can contain multiple values like whenever we are in list view self will contain five records all these records auto mates yellow odoo red blue erp etc so we will be taking one by one for one record in self like we will be iterating each record one by one so you can replace self by rec this variable like this you can give so this is how we have to define a compute field in odoo so i hope you understood this topic so we will be moving to the next topic so compute field is finished and let's discuss another topic so the next topic we will be defining is suppose if each child is ticked and on clicking save button we have to like we need to we are going to discuss about how to add constraint that is validation error in odoo that is if i specify is child is ticked we have to mandatorily we have to specify the children's age so let's see how we have to do that that is if i tick is child the age has cannot be zero let's see such a how we can add such a validation in odoo so for that what i'll do is that for which field we had to add constraint for is child that is at api constraints pa constraints is child and age field so for these two fields i'm adding a constraint and that is i'm defining a function i'll give name it as check child age i'll name it as check child age i'll iterate over a for loop for rec in self if rec dot is child is child and rec dot age equal to zero race validation error I'll do one thing. I'll make one import from odoo dot exceptions. Import validation error. So I'll explain what I'm doing. So here I have added one more function. Here you can see I have added one more function called check child age, and you can see at API constraints. So once we specify a function using this decorator that is at api constraint this function will be getting evaluated once we save a record so once we save a record when having value changes in is child and age this function will be getting executed and what we are checking inside this function we are iterating self over a for loop for rec in self if is child that is if is child is ticked so this is like if child equal to true if rec dot is child equal to equal to true we can simplify equal to equal to true we can instead of simply you can give is child that means if is child is ticked and if age is zero we have to raise a validation error that age has to be recorded so let's see the working so i'll just restart the service and you can see the module is getting upgraded and if i go here and let me untick is child save this is fine and if 
is child is ticked and if i click on save manually you can see validation error has been coming which is written over here that is if child is ticked and if age is zero you cannot modify a record so if you put the value as one and if you try to click on save this will work here you can see the function is if is child is true and age equal to zero this validation error will be thrown age has to be recorded so to raise a validation error we have imported from odoo.exceptions import validation error similarly we have user error warning error like that but i'll use validation error from odoo.exception import validation error and the syntax is like erase space validation error and you can put your message here so the syntax is you can see underscore in, inside underscore this you can see once i specify underscore here i have imported the underscore also here that is from api fields models and i imported underscore here i think you can see it over here underscore and underscore this is for the translation purpose like odu can be run in multiple languages so whenever we run odu in users language like arabic or spanish or french to show this message in that user language we are putting this translation helper that is underscore so this is how we can raise a validation error and using constraint in odu so i hope these points are clear for you we have learned how to create a compute field and how to add constraint and how to raise a validation error in odu so that's it for this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or such suggestion don't hesitate to share with us directly under the video comment section and we will be trying to reply you as soon as possible so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you